What I mean by that, man, there was this energy. energy. Hey, man. Lions, man. Hey, what up, homie? I hope God is blessed. With a man. little physical energy. There was this energy. energy. Hey, man. Aggressive. Man. Dancing around. And I'll be straight with, with a you, little man. physical dancing, man. This energy. energy. What up, what up? It's Garage Jim Homie, and today I'm reviewing HTLT Hardcore Stim. Is it worth it? Before we get into this here, please click the subscribe button. I got content coming out every day for you, so click subscribe and let's get into this, homie. Hey, man. Hope you're feeling amazing, man. I know God's blessing you. God's amazing. Hope you're living in your heart, staying out of your head because it's noisy in here, man. Listening to your body, you know, just uh, letting God guide you, man, not guiding your dang self, man. So listen, this is the first thing I've reviewed by the fine folks at uh, HTLT Supplements. And I pretty much dang near have, I think I got like their whole line here. Oh, I got the pump I'm gonna review, sleep formula, their uh, uh, pre-workout 2.0 or whatever. Uh, this one, uh, it's gotta be some more, man. I got some more, I forget what else, man, but uh, the formulas look promising, homie. I ain't gonna lie, the pump looks, uh, the pump looks sick. They make the beta version, the non-beta version. Uh, not beta male, homie, beta alanine. Uh, uh, we're trying to make you into the non-beta version, homie. That's what we're trying to do over here, man. Strong iron pumper, alpha male. Let's get down to business, quit monkeying around, start pumping some freaking iron. Uh, Greg du Doucette, if I pronounce that right, I've watched his channel. Um, actually, a lot. Not a lot. I've watched a, a good amount of his videos, man. Clearly a very intelligent guy. Congratulations, sir, on your endeavors, but I ain't here to shine your dang schlong. Just like, this is kind of the second company I've reviewed by like a big YouTube uh, YouTuber. Uh, I also did that Gorilla Mind, a uh, bunch of subs from them. I still have some more to review, but uh, and I ain't shine no dang schlong either. I wasn't too impressed with a few of their products and a few of their products I really liked. So, uh, Hey, man, I'm just here to give it to you straight, man. Just here to share my experience. Now, this is what I'm going to say, man. They actually uh, gave me a discount code for the viewers. If you like what I have to say, I might tell you it's trash, but I might tell you it's solid. So let's get down to business. So they're doing these, excuse me, supplement facts. They're talking facts or feelings over here, homie. We only do facts. I hope they got the message that this isn't Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, or whatever the heck you're watching at home, son. Straight up fitness talk with Garage Gym, homie, and here we talk the facts. They are giving this us uh, this uh, one scoop, two scoop, redfish, bluefish, Dr. Seuss mumbo jumbo, homie. I mean, you're going to take a product called Hardcore Stim and want to take one scoop, you're soft as heck, man. Forget that one scoop, two scoop. Two scoops, man, you put it on the scale, they're talking 16.4 grams, and in my experience, Two level scoops was 13 grams for me. Maybe I didn't pack it down enough, I don't know. But two level scoops, you know what? Forget all that. It was 13 grams, homie. I don't, shouldn't have to pack it down. So you gotta do over the two scoops if you're not using a scale. And you get 20 servings in here. So let's talk about it, man. So giving you sodium. Here's the meat and potatoes, man. Beta alanine, homie, four grams. That is for the warm, fuzzy hug, the tingles, the revved up feeling, the endurance, the lactic acid buffering, a few extra reps for those of you homies who need a few extra reps. L-taurine, 1,500 milligrams. DMAE, homie, that's a focus ingredient. That gets you focused and dialed in, thinking about the weights, forgetting about your Tinder dates, because women don't like you, homeboy. You're not a big YouTuber, dog. Women swipe left on you, son. I'm not a big YouTuber either, man. This is a... This channel's pathetic, man. I should have a million dang subscribers, man. What the heck? 12? This is some... I'm disappointed in myself, man. This DMA hopefully will help me get focused in, man. Uh, Alpha GPC, 500 milligrams. 
Couldn't they have just given us the efficacious clinical dose of 600 milligrams? Shut your dang mouth, son. They gave us 500 milligrams. Like it, love it, or move on with your life. PEA, 400 milligrams. That's a feel-good hitter. That uh, contributes to some mood elevation, some, uh, some focus. It's like a, it's a stimulant. It's a, I think it's a stimulant. It pairs well with caffeine. Um, Ariagerenesis, homie, 350 milligrams. That's a nice amount of uh, Ariya. That's another stimulant. Pairs well with the PEA, the caffeine, all that. Uh, 350 is a nice amount, homie. That gives you that head floaty feeling um, and some more focus and mood. Caffeine and hydras, 250 milligrams. Now, I like that amount, dog. I wouldn't call it a hardcore stim amount, but I like that amount of... Uh, of caffeine right there, man. It's not, not overdoing it. Now, 150 milligrams of L-theanine. This one right here, I can't get down with. Don't, I, I'm not a big, you make a product called Hardcore Stim. You're gonna put L-theanine in there, homie? I'm not a big fan of that, man. I've never once taken a pre-workout and said, man, this could really use a little L-theanine, ever. I mean, either, Either take something that's not called hardcore stim, or I just don't, I don't get it, man. I can't imagine that people are really going to get jitters and, oh, it's to avoid the jitters or cra I think it's BS, man. I think it's extras, homie. That's just me. Dicaffeine malate, 100 milligrams. That's long-lasting caffeine bonded to malic acid. That yields 75%. So this uh, pre-workout gives you a total of... 325 milligrams of caffeine. Nice amount of caffeine. Two different types. I like that. And Hooperzine A, man, 12 milligrams, which yields, you know, 1%, whatever micrograms that is. Uh, another focus ingredient, man. So this is a nice freaking label, homie. Four grams of beta, bunch of focus ingredients, uh, PA, Araya, two kinds of caffeine. Every This is a solid label, homie. It's a stim package. This is a nice focus stim package homie and they ain't giving you nothing in the way of pumps which has its pros and cons i i'm i actually like that man i'm a big believer at this point in my supplement review career <laughs> either give us a pump matrix that's like loaded where you don't have to throw anything on top of it or give us no pumps at all like this so i can throw any pump formula on top of it a lot of these pre-workouts give you like some pumps so then you're like oh is throwing a pump formula too much is it you know it's like either give us a sick pump formula so you, we get the whole package or give us no pumps at all so i'm i'm happy with it man this is nice like if i saw this label i'd be like i either want to take this and throw a sick pump formula on top of it like his pump formula and go hard on some upper body or i i'd look at this label and say this is perfect for hitting legs, man. Nice package, no pumps. I'm a, this is a nice leg day pre-workout. So I think it's, everything in life has pros and cons, homie. So I took the drink, man. I did. It was a great flavor. Because uh, of my traumatic brain injury, man, I have a very distorted taste. But it was sweet. Had a little red tint to it. Wasn't too overwhelmingly sweet. Uh, I think you, you folks will like it, man. I came down to the dance floor. It's time for some serious iron pump and sun. First thing I felt, man, about seven minutes after taking this pre was strong, strong beta alanine, man. Strong beta, man. Head itchers, body itch. I was itching down my back. I mean, the, the beta is that Walter White good, good beta on here. You will like the beta alanine in here. This is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say this is what I'm going to say about this, homie. I'm going to tell you the pros and the cons, man. So number one, this is not a stim junkie pre-workout. It is not, as far as physical energy goes, like the heart beating, the physical energy, that backbone, it's not stim junkie. It's high-end, regular use, or you find folks call it da daily driver physical energy. The physical energy is not the star of the show with this. This is more, the star of the show it's a nootropic pre-workout. Really from the start, man, it wakes you up and it puts you in a pretty good mood. It's not illicit, happy, you know, dark energy good mood, but it definitely raises your mood and the head floaty, focus, dialed in, almost kind of tunnel vision, 
uh, you know, um, nootropic feeling is the star of the show. And when I say tunnel vision, man, don't expect, oh, is it like DMAA? Is it like Jack 3D? Is it like Excelsior? No, dude, this is a compliant pre-workout, man. This is, this is like as much as you can get with a compliant pre-workout as far as that nootropic, head floaty tunnel vision. You kind of got to not really care what music is playing because you're going to be focused in on your training. I thought it was a nice experience, man. The beta last, and actually there was a stronger sense of urgency than I had anticipated. I thought I was going to come on YouTube and be like, Man, there was no sense of urgency. It was very smooth. And it was smooth, man, in the sense that your heart's not beating like crazy. So it is really good for a leg day, actually, man, because there's no alpha yo, none of that. It, it, it wakes you up. I mean, there's no point where I say, I need more energy. It's just that physical energy is not the star of the show. You know, some pre-workouts are very physical with a strong backbone. This was more focus mental so they call it hardcore stim by today's standards of stim junkie pre-workouts it's not like stim junkie pre-workout but it has a very nice nootropic head high with it man i mean there is a there is a head high with it you your like head is you got that araya buzz on it man it's good source to raya or whatever the heck else is you know dma epa all that stuff comes together from the start beta last a while Nothing in the way of pumps and uh, decent daily driver-ish energy, man. So I thought the boy was nice, man. I have nothing to complain about with it. I don't know why they need the L-theanine, but besides that, man, it was a nice experience, man. It's nice to train on. You're going to be very zoned in, dialed in, focused into what you're doing, man. So it's not like, I think for the drug addicts out there who like the stim junkie experience, I think it'll scratch your itch. It's got that, it's just got that more nootropic kind of feeling. It's like a nootropic pre-workout. So I like that, man. I mean, that's uh, the advantage of it. And you could put whatever dang pump formula you want on top of it, as long as it doesn't have beta alanine, because you don't want to get oversaturated and then you stop getting the beta tingles, man. We like the beta tingles. Anyway, man, that's what I got for you, man. Garage gym homies always going to give it to you straight till the end of days. I got other reviews coming up. If you like the review, subscribe to the channel. If you didn't freaking like the review, also subscribe to the channel. God bless all of you. Together, let's get this dang muscle. I'm out.